Alabama remembers its fallen law enforcement officers at a ceremony in Anniston today. A contrast to the weather coming up this weekend, a wet day on Saturday, but a dry day on Sunday. We will have the complete forecast details coming up. The Anniston Bulldogs wrap up spring practice with a scrimmage this afternoon. We'll check it out coming up in sports. EAN Local News starts now. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by Waldrop Manufacturing, metal buildings made right here in Calhoun County. Good evening and thank you for watching East Alabama Now Local News for Friday, May 19th, 2023. I'm Mike Stedham. And I'm Katie Edwards. Aniston Centennial Memorial Park was the site of today's annual Law Enforcement Memorial Ceremony as Alabama honors those officers who have made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. Each year, names are added to the memorial wall of all the officers who died while on the job. The speaker at today's event was Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall, who says the wall is a reminder of the personal sacrifices that law enforcement officers are willing to make to keep their communities safe. Personally, not just in the wall in which we memorialize here today, but those that have missed Christmases and Thanksgivings, birthdays and events, all because they were called to a profession in which they knew that sacrifice was endemic to what they do. And I saw men and women that despite difficult circumstances have stayed true to their calling to protect and to serve. I think our goal here today is not to add another single name to this wall. That should be our mission. And Marshall said that while the wall honors those who lost their lives, all of those who serve in law enforcement deserve to be recognized for putting their lives at risk every time they put on their uniforms. The men and women of law enforcement here, as we somehow sit and memorialize those that we've lost, let me also remind you of your value. You don't hear it enough for people to be able to recognize the fact that you answered this call knowing it wasn't going to make you rich. You answered this call understanding the risks that were involved in the job, but yet you do it anyway. Aniston police are asking for the public's help in locating a missing teenager. Investigators are looking for 16-year-old Phoebe Moore, who's described as 4 feet 9 inches tall, weighing 170 pounds, with brown eyes and brown hair. She was last seen Thursday night wearing a red plaid checkered dress and red shoes with white shoestrings. Anyone who has information is asked to call the police at 256-226-5347. Well, when we come back, we'll tell you what all these bike riders are doing around Calhoun County this weekend. If you've been thinking about a new shed, garage, or metal carport, now is the time to act. Steel prices are rising in 2023 and will continue rising into the next year. Waldrop Manufacturing still has current price stock but is expected to run out as early as June. So call up Waldrop Manufacturing today. The supply is on a first come, first serve basis. Waldrop Manufacturing, this area's most trusted, reliable steel manufacturer. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by WM Grocery, located in Heflin, Wadawi, Roanoke, and in Piedmont. Hundreds of cyclists are expected to converge on East Alabama Saturday and Sunday for the annual Cheehaw Challenge events. The Calhoun County Emergency Management Agency reminds motorists to be especially cautious this weekend and to be sure they allow enough space for cyclists as they encounter them on the streets and the highways. Bicycles have the same rights as other vehicles, and Alabama law requires motorists to allow a minimum of three feet of clearance between their vehicles and the bicycles they're passing on the road. If a three-foot buffer is not possible, drivers are required to slow down and to wait to pass the bicycles when they're safe. Brooke Nelson of the Northeast Alabama Bicycle Association says the first event of the weekend will be time trials Saturday morning along the Chief Ladiga Trail. 
at Ebanks Welcome Center and goes all the way to Pete Matthews Coliseum. It's about 12 miles and it's cyclists going as fast as they can go. Every crossing will be covered where they can just fly through and they're just competing against themselves for time and there's winner's awards for those that are the fastest. It's very popular. The big event and the one that will have the biggest impact on local traffic is the Chiha Challenge itself. Nelson says that begins Sunday morning at 7.30 in Jacksonville. It will have several levels of different difficulty for the various riders. They start out at Pete Matthews Coliseum in Jacksonville, cut over White Scout Road to Highway 9, and goes 78 and then hits the 281 all the way to the top of Alabama at Chiha State Park and goes out to Adams Gap. The Ultra adds a few other very major climbs like Baines Gap and Cottaquilla and Chimney Peak. And it is definitely the hardest one. But we have people from all over the country, usually from 33 states or more, and we'll have from 10 or 13 countries come into our little area here in uh, Jacksonville, Alabama to uh, compete and see who's got the goods on Sunday for the Chiaha Challenge. All of these bike riders will be paying close attention to the weather as they're here for the Chiha Challenge. Let's check in with John Holder in the EAN Weather Center to find out if they'll be getting wet during these long rides. John? Well, Katie and Mike, Saturday should be not a good day out there for the Chiha Challenge, but Sunday promises to be a much better day. We'll have the complete weekend forecast coming up. Since 1993, WM Grocery has been a major part of our local community. WM offers the very best in fresh produce and an outstanding meat department. WM also has many local products not found anywhere else and fresh sushi every day. If you need an event catered, come see Mrs. K at any WM store. Curbside pickup is also available for your online grocery orders. Be sure to download the WM app for all the deals of the week and shopper rewards. Go check them out today at any of their locations. We take pride in our community and appreciate your business. Plenty of clouds today across East Alabama, but thankfully those clouds today did not include storms. A mostly dry day across the eastern side of the state. And with the clouds, temperatures holding only to 75 degrees. That's well below the average for this time of year. A morning low of 64. That's about where we should be for this time of year. Just not much movement as far as the temperatures go without the sunshine to account for today. You see the record high and the record low temperatures and the sun rising now at 540. The sun setting at 740 in the evening as the days continue to be longer. Weather on your street, mostly cloudy skies tonight out on Boiling Springs Road in Ohatchee. I don't think we'll see any rainfall at all out there tonight, but the clouds will hold thick overnight, 63 for your nighttime low and your Friday night out Ohatchee Way. Coming up on your Saturday, high rain chances again. If you're out at Rabbit Town Road in Nances Creek, eastern side of Calhoun County, it is going to be high rain chances. Some Chiha Challenge folks going on out there tomorrow. That's a prime area for that. And those high rain chances coming back after a dry day. We're talking the rain chance, particularly tomorrow afternoon, at about 80%. With some more sunshine tomorrow, though, the high will climb to where we should be for this time of year at 82 degrees. As we take a look at next week, looking ahead, temperatures are going to rebound slowly. We're going to creep those temperatures up. It will be drier next week. Temperatures rising from the low day 80s back to the mid 80s. If you're on Saks Road out in the Saks area of Aniston, looks like a pretty nice week coming up next week. I know we've got high school graduation. That will include it. Saks High School on Saks Road coming up next week. And right now, graduation ceremonies for late next week look like we should be rain free for the most part across East Alabama. The seven day forecast. And this is an important forecast, not only for Chiha Challenge this weekend, but next week we mentioned not only most folks going through graduation exercises, but also it is the last week of school. There'll be a lot of out of school parties and things going on. And of course, this forecast will show temperatures getting into the upper 70s. Very beautiful weather Monday and Tuesday. But then those temperatures begin to rise back into the low 80s by Wednesday. Thursday, that's the night of most of the commencement exercises will be on Thursday. And right now we're looking at mostly sunny skies and temperatures are going to be in the low 80s. And believe it or not, by next Friday, folks, 
We are headed to Memorial Day weekend. That's right. We're going to be looking at temperatures getting into the upper 80s for the Memorial Day holiday weekend, about where we should be here as we unofficially kick off summertime. We mentioned much calmer weather today as opposed to yesterday. One of our viewers sending in this video. This is on I-20 yesterday afternoon about 5 o'clock between East Aboga and Lincoln. And that is rain, but that is also some very large hail. That's quarter size, maybe some ping pong size hail, not the place you want to be. We had many hail reports, not only from East of Bogan, Lincoln, but also Talladega, Jacksonville, places like that. Uh, no damage to report, but I'm sure some of those cars did take some pings there as you see some golf ball size, ping pong size hail coming down on I-20 yesterday in Talladega County. Chase Robinson has sports coming up. Yeah, spring football is in action. He's going to take you to the spring game and enter squad game with the Anniston Bulldogs. Chase. Thanks, John. The Anniston Bulldogs held a spring scrimmage today at Lot Bosby Memorial Stadium to put a wrap on spring practice. Anniston is coming off of an 11-1 season and a quarter final round playoff loss to end the 2022 season. Now they have a chance to turn the page to a new season. Coach Rico Jackson held the Cardinal and White game. It gave the first-year head coach a chance to see the guys in action. They've had eight days of practice to work on fundamentals and prep, but Coach Jackson says today is about having fun. The eight practices, I pretty much knew today was about having fun. Uh, I want to see them fly around. There's some stuff I wanted to see on tape. Uh, we got a bunch of film that I can watch, but the biggest thing, nobody got hurt. <laughs> so uh, I'm good with that, and that's going to lead us to something. The Bulldogs will be led at quarterback this year by Jaden Lewis, who is committed to the Auburn Tigers on defense as a cornerback. And Coach Jackson is proud of the leadership Lewis and all of the seniors have shown this spring. And I, since I got here, he's been leading. Uh, he's going to be one of the greatest leaders to come through this school, and, uh, and I have no problem saying that because I, I know a lot of people that went through here. I know a lot of people that played here. And I know the history, and uh, he just, he's really been carrying us this spring. I'm really proud of him, and not just him. Of the seniors, uh, they've really been coming together and working hard. The Anniston Bulldogs will open the season August 25th in a Week 0 matchup with the Welburn Panthers at Lot Mosby Memorial Stadium. The Oxford Yellow Jackets and the White Plains Wildcats were up this morning in the AHSAA State Softball Tournament. The Yellow Jackets were originally scheduled to play yesterday afternoon, but because of the weather, it was moved to this morning as Oxford took on Athens it was Athens eliminating Oxford 15-4 to end the Yellow Jackets season. White Plains was up against Orange Beach, and the Makos got the 18-0 win to send the Wildcats to the elimination bracket. And the City of Anniston Parks and Recreation Department is planning to launch Anniston's first semi-professional basketball club. The team will consist of coaches and players from Anniston, and they will compete in the Peach Basket Club system. The team will have a combine on Saturday, June 10th, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The combine will take place at the Anniston Aquatics and Fitness Center and is open to all males ages 21 and over. For more information, contact Larray Williams at lwilliams at annistonal.gov. Also, if you're interested in coaching the team, send an email to Williams. That's it for sports. Let's go back over to Mike and Katie. If you're looking for something to do on Sunday, the Cleburne Community Choir is debuting their spring concert. It is a free event and fun for everyone. It starts at 2 p.m. at Carolyn Oaks Heflin. Thank you for watching East Alabama Now Local News. Yes, keep checking back with us every Monday through Friday around 6.30 in the evening, either on Facebook or YouTube for a recap of what's been happening in your community. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a comment while you're there. We'll see you Monday for your news on your schedule.